Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Elgort and I'm one of the instructors for the HTML Fundamentals class given at Clark College. What I'm going to be showing you today is a quick overview of the Canvas Learning Management System shell for HTML Fundamentals. Now, what you're looking at is my particular shell for my two sections of CTEC 122. Arlo Peterson also has a section and you may be watching this if you're in one of his classes and I just want you to know that some of the information in particular on the home page will just be slightly different so don't worry about it. Also I want to show you that I'm in what's called the student view right now that's why I have this beautiful um, highlighted color and border at the bottom. I'm, I'm looking at Canvas the way you as a student will see it. Now I'm in the CTEC 122 shell and I'm looking at the home page for the class. Now I'm not going to read through all the information but just know that it's important for you to thoroughly read it, click on the links, find out about where to get your textbook, read the syllabus. If your instructor is using Slack, there's a link to you know how to get started with that. There's a link to the assignments, a link to the announcements, and uh, you know some other information. Now on on the bottom here it says click this link uh, or the modules link on the left to get started and I'll just go up here, I'm moving my mouse to the upper left hand corner and before I get started I just want to review all the items in the list here. So home is going to take you to this page here. Assignments is going to take you here okay, to, to a list of all the assignments for the class. Now this is something you want to only use if you have to. Yes, it's going to show you when everything is due, but when I get to the modules link here, you're going to understand why this may not be the place you need to go every time you need to figure out what kind of work or reading or other types of uh, things you need to do in HTML fundamentals. Now, there is another link here that's not showing right now because there are no announcements but announcements will be made once, twice, maybe three times a week that will show up here. And you'll also, if you've signed up or you've set your settings within Canvas, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but just know that you can receive notifications from Canvas via, um, via email, via text messages, uh, via whole you know, bunch of different ways, including push notifications if you have a mobile device and the Canvas app installed on it. So pretty, pretty cool, right? So CTEC 122 web page, that's going to take you to a web page. It's going to take you to another button that you have to click on. And this web page is something you should bookmark because you're going to be using and clicking on a lot of the references on this page. This page also includes all the video tutorials for the course and it also includes up here right in the this right here I'm highlighting it with my mouse is the web page template. So more about that when you start the class just know that this page is something you're going to reference a lot. Let me close this tab and let me go down to e-learning and tech support. Now this is an online class and if you ever need to you know get some tech support for using Canvas or you know other things uh, that you may need you know support with when participating in this class you can find them on this web page or on the Clark website. So I'm going to go back and grades that's just going to show you a page of all the assignments quizzes etc with the grade that you received okay I I'm not a student and I don't have that ability to do that if I click on this it's gonna you know it, it just won't give me anything so that's where you'll find out information about your grades. When you click on library, where do you think it's going to go? It's going to bring you to this page that says open a new tab and it brings you to the Clark College Library. Hey, what a feature, right? Next, modules. Now, this is the place where it all happens. This is the uh, list of all of the modules, okay, those are these big groupings here. See, I'm collapsing these things called modules. I'm clicking on this triangle here. And inside of each module are the things that you need to complete. Now, on the right-hand side here, do you see this thing that says complete all items? 
you need in order to move on to the next module to complete all the items. And what that means, that word complete, that means either you know, submit, a, submit an assignment, take a quiz, or view. See this word view right here on the first item? It, it wants you to click on and view it. Okay, so in order to move on between modules, you're going to need to do as the module expects you to do in order to proceed on in the course. Now, let's go into module one. I'm not going to go through all the items here, but I want you to see that they're nicely numbered. All the modules kind of use the same numbering scheme in front of everything, we put a verb that tells you what you need to do. Okay, read something, respond to something, watch something. And okay, over here it says tutorials, sorry about that. 1.3 says tutorials, and all the tutorials are under that. If we go down to assignments, here you go. Here's all the assignments. Okay, this is actually one assignment. Don't, don't be afraid. And then here's a quiz that you need to take and just some more resources. Module 2, notice that it's grayed out. It's because we haven't completed Module 1. So you can't go on to Module 2 without completing Module 1. But notice, tutorials, right? The quiz over here, it's all laid out the same. And it's like this for all 10 weeks. Actually, it's 11 in the fall of 2016. But it's all the material for the course right here. It's all here, all numbered. And again, this is what you want to follow when going through the course and not the assignments view. Because the assignments view, the assignments link here, isn't going to show you all the supporting information, tips and techniques, videos that you need to complete the assignment. Now, I probably should have gone over this in the beginning because it's the first thing you really should read when taking any college class, right, is the course syllabus. I'm not going to go through it. There's a quiz on it, just so you know. And you need to score a 9 out of 10 in order to pass it, right, in order to, to move on to the next module. So I'll send you back, uh, or your instructor will send you back. And all the answers are right in this uh, syllabus right here. Again, I'm not going to go through the course details. And if you want to download uh, a PDF version of it, here you can in my shell. I don't know if Mr. Peterson's shell has this, but you can also see an online version of it if you click on that link, Okay, the complete syllabus. I hope you've enjoyed this short walkthrough of the HTML HTML fundamentals uh, fall 2016 canvas shell and again you know your shell may look a little bit different but for the most part all the content and the layout is going to be identical thanks for watching and have a great quarter